يأمرون بالمعروف وينهون عن المنكر وأولئك هم المفلحون صدق الله العظيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين رب الشرح صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الوقت التمل لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته everyone for and thank you all for joining in tonight alhamdulillah we have a pretty good turnout so far inshallah more people will join in and just wanted to highlight a few uh, just one point or two points about you know why we're here and why we're actually joining this right and how it's uh, important for us to join these kinds of meetings you know town hall meetings general body meetings inshallah and to contribute in any way towards our community inshallah right the verse that i just recited from uh, surah ali imran verse number 103 وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا Right, that hold on firmly to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala جَمِيعًا all together, right? Which means that a person can't uh, um, help develop or sustain a community or anything rather uh, alone, right? It has to be done with a group of people. It has to be done with a, a, a community that's working towards a same common goal for the spiritual development for the educational development of our community inshallah ta'ala um no together hold firmly to the rope of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this for you know all of us here right now we're all right now at this very moment holding firmly to the rope of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and wala tafarraqu and do not you know divide between each other because when you when you are holding firmly together then there will be no division But if it's only one or two people or three people, then there will be division, right? But when you're when you're working towards a common goal, when you're working towards a a uh, you know a beautiful uh, uh, trying to reach a beautiful result for our community, for our youth, for our next generations of Muslims, you know, within East Cobb, within Marietta, within the United States, inshallah, ta'ala, this is where it starts. You know, from these kind of meetings, from these kinds of uh, 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 events that we that we that we try to hold, inshallah, ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he actually says, um, he says that wajabat mahabbati, wajabat mahabbati lil mutahabbi nafiyya. Wajabat mahabbati lil mutahabbi nafiyya. That Allah, uh, Allah's uh, love becomes obligated upon that person or upon those people who meet for, you know, and they love each other for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That they, you know, they work together, they love each other, they are, working towards a common goal they are uh, you know cooperating allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy his love becomes wajib for that person right and you know who doesn't want that who doesn't want for allah's love to become obliged upon us inshallah right so inshallah all of us being here i you know i fully believe that we are all inshallah recipients of allah's uh, and we are you know uh, the, the the recipients of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy and his love and, and inshallah uh, through this town hall meeting and through many more meetings in the future Uh, we're going to increase together we're going to grow together and inshallah we're going to uh, see results for ourselves for our youth for our generations to come after inshallah ta'ala jazakallahu khairan brother mohsen and everyone else you guys can take it away inshallah Are you on mute assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh jazakallahu khair imam aqib thank you so much that was a very good start of our meeting jazakallahu khair thank you so much Uh, moving on, uh, and I know um, we want to finish on time, so uh, I would like to start right away. Um, if it moves next, okay, there you go. So I just want to start away with a, a brief 2020 updates. Many of you who have visited in the last year on 2020 probably would have known most of them. A um, lot of lot of us stayed away from the masjid. We had COVID uh, spread all over. We wanted to be safe. Um, um, Uh, is my camera on? Oh, it's not on. There you go. Sorry, guys. My camera was not on. So we wanted to be safe. We wanted to be, you know, um, take care of our elders, our seniors, our women and children. So we had a lot of restrictions last year. Um, Imam Akib joined us on time. Alhamdulillah. Uh, he was tech savvy. So he was able to, you know, uh, adopt and adapt to the COVID restrictions. That, uh, we quickly moved a lot of programs online. Um, you know, uh, we had our Sunday school, we turned it into a virtual Sunday school last year. 
uh, alhamdulillah we had a lot of students learning online it was new for everybody it was a learning experience for almost you know all the parents uh, some of them had tough time figuring out uh, how it works but alhamdulillah we all figured it out and we learned a lot alhamdulillah 2020 was the most challenging year um, as far as i've seen and i'm sure you all would agree with us we lost a lot of our beloved uh, friends some of us lost our family members um, so may allah give jannah to all our uh, friends and families who passed away during this time and may allah give them the highest place in the paradise amen so alhamdulillah it was a, it was a pretty uh, uh, tough year but still we managed to go through we were able to launch our website we were um, we also started a hips uh, planning for the hips program um, we sent out surveys we figured out that you know our company needs a part time hips program so we we embarked on that journey alhamdulillah we have uh, um, we have a lot of interest from our community members who's who who wants their kids to inshallah do uh, part time hips so we are working on it inshallah imam akib is going to come up with a detailed plan uh, next year uh, this this year inshallah and we're going to start that program very soon um, and of course we had all the various virtual programs we had our tuesday halaqas we had our friday um, um, programs uh, alhamdulillah we have been busy even though there were covid restrictions um, all around us but um, we are looking forward for a better 2021 hoping everybody gets vaccinated and we can get back to our regular plans and inshallah we'll discuss about that what we are going to do for Ramadan um, in the next slides or the slides towards the end, we'll talk in detail about it. We have like a focus Ramadan section where we'll talk in detail about how are we going to address Ramadan and how we're going to take care of it, inshallah. And of course, a lot of new Muslim members also moved into our community. So we all welcome them. Um, yes, it was virtual, but you know, it was, it was a, uh, Alhamdulillah, it was a blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have more Muslim members um, join our community, Alhamdulillah. So those were 2020 updates moving forward. Um, I'm gonna quickly introduce our, uh, I'm gonna ask our executive team to self introduce themselves. Um, Alhamdulillah, we have a, uh, this time uh, we had uh, many positions open and a lot of people applied for these positions and we were able to fill these positions. Alhamdulillah, we have a full uh, packed team looking forward for 2021, 2022 to serve our community, to serve our deen and make this a successful uh, um, uh, masjid, inshallah. So to begin with, uh, I would ask uh, Adnan Qureshi to just uh, start with uh, left to right. So everybody knows me by now. I'm the president. I've been the president for the last two years, uh, 20, uh, 2019 and 2020. 2020 was eaten away by COVID, so we couldn't do much there. But uh, 2019, uh, I was the president and then um, I was reappointed for 2021, 2022. Uh, so inshallah, I hope that, you know, I can serve the community and the, uh, and our deen um, to the best I can, to my best of my abilities, inshallah. So let's start with uh, introducing uh, um, Adnan. We can go ahead. Let's start from left to, um, let's start from left to, to right and then keep moving. Each of you, please introduce yourself um, um, and then we can move on to the next uh, slides, inshallah. Okay, thank you, Brother Mohsen. Uh, Salam alaikum, everyone. My name is Adnan Qureshi. Um, like Brother Mohsen mentioned, I'm one of the new members in the community. I moved here about a year and a half ago. Um, prior to here, I was in California, but then before then, I was, I was in Marietta, Georgia. Um, I was very active with the Mashad Hadaya, um, launching with, with Sunday school activities. Um, but I'm from originally from Chicago, Illinois. Um, I'm an aeronautical engineer. I work for Lockheed Martin. I'm um, very excited. Uh, I've met a few of the members at ECIC and, and everyone's full of energy, mashallah, very high spirited. So I'm excited uh, inshallah, to help out in any capacity I can and look forward to meeting meeting everyone. Jazakallah khair. Asalaamu Alaikum. Um, can you guys hear me fine, Mohsen? Yeah, perfect. Asalaamu yeah. guys. My name is Parvez. Uh, even I'm, alhamdulillah, a new member to the community. My family and I moved uh, to Atlanta in August of last year. And uh, before that, I'll, we were in Chicago for almost 18 years. And for a brief period, I was in Boston for a year. Alhamdulillah, in Chicago, I was also the treasurer for uh, a masjid called Islamic Foundation North for six years. So my niyat was to be close to the masjid. And Alhamdulillah, very, very happy to be close to the masjid. We can literally walk to the masjid, Alhamdulillah. So with that niyat, I'm 
uh, wanting to help uh, PCIC and very happy to be part of the committee here. And I'm looking forward to serving all of you, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Meher John. My um, husband is Brother Mosin. And I have been part of the ECIC community since its inception. Uh, we've lived in Marietta for about 14 years or so. Um, and uh, I uh, actually grew up in New York. Uh, my background is in international development. So I've worked with different NGOs and UN organizations over the years. And uh, I also taught briefly at Ilm Academy. And um, uh, yeah, so I've been involved with the Women's Committee for a couple of years now and look forward to seeing more sisters uh, join me. Um, I think we'll post the email addresses um, for, I guess, all the committee members maybe in the chat. So if you want to reach out, um, you know, please do so uh, if you're interested in helping out with the Women's Committee or with any other aspects of the, of the Majid, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Um, I wasn't sure which uh, order the people were supposed to go in because I believe mine is different from everyone else's. But my name is Ahmed, Ahmed Oyan. I've been here for about seven or eight years. I have participated in uh, calling of the Adhan, so many people know my voice. And I've also worked as a volunteer for Sunday School. And lately I have been working with the uh, Zakat and Sadaqa Committee as uh, leading that. Um, and what we do is we screen all of the requests for help and we try our best to distribute the help as justly and uh, equitably as possible. Whether that means we purchase food or pay rent or just give someone some money. And as um, Ramadan is almost upon us and many people need to uh, pay their zakah. Uh, you can do that through the masjid and we will do our best to distribute that to the needy around here. And if of course uh, uh, there's any additional, we sometimes uh, will take advantage of uh, other organizations who are distributing to the needy and we uh, help them out as well. So uh, if you are interested in helping the needy, we actually, uh, need more people to help us be aware of those people in need because th there will come a time in which you will wish that you will know somebody who you can distribute your zakat to so that you can fulfill your Islamic obligations. And um, it is important that we all come together and we help each other find those needy people and help them uh, receive that which is their due rights. So with no further ado, can the next person please go ahead? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. My name is uh, Ahmed Amir. I'm the head of the IT committee. I work on the website and our app. And I do uh, everything else uh, related to technology. And we want more people to join the IT committee. So if you're interested, you can uh, email me. Assalamu alaikum, this is Amir. And um, although my name appears with construction as well as cemetery uh, committee, the construction committee uh, can almost is done with its job since the building is, new building is almost uh, ready for, to go and we'll talk a little bit more about it. So inshallah, um, I do head up the cemetery chair as a chair person and we have a tremendous amount of people that offer help in the committee. But I will say this, I am trying to retire. and from this committee. So I'm uh, soliciting help from any upcoming uh, members of the community who can lead this task. Uh, Hamad, you're on my target list. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. My name is uh, Ahmed Nasser. Um, like Brother Mohsen was saying, I'm one of those relatively newcomers to the community. Been in East Coast for a couple of years now. Uh, Prior to being here, we used to live in Sugar Hill, Georgia, and was part of the Masjid Rahman incoming group almost for five years. 
And prior to that, we have lived, we have lived in Michigan and Ohio. Um, you know, these are, of course, uh, along with Buddha Sadiq here, I help out with the operations and that sort of catch off for um, any help that we need maintaining the musalla and the grounds and everything and all the various programs that we run. So we're always looking for folks who can help us out and help volunteers. So please reach out. And inshallah, once this pandemic is over, looking forward to meeting everyone, inshallah, uh, in person. So with that, I'll turn over to Brother Sadiq here. Assalamu uh, alaikum. This is Sadiq Sayyid. Um, uh, we have been in the, around AC, ECIC, it's been around almost five years now. Uh, we moved from San Diego. And we love to be part of this masjid. Um, I don't have any prior experience to work for any masjid. This is first time I'm working uh, uh, in a associate with the masjid to doing something, right? So inshallah, I'll try my best to help in operation areas. Uh, I'll work with them, Brother Ahmed. And um, feel free to give feedback and let us know <clears throat> what's wrong and uh, what we can do better. Uh, I'm looking forward for the feedback because feedback will help us to do our job better. So thanks a lot. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I think everyone, I'm the newest comer to the to the community, inshallah. And I'm, I'm I think a lot of you, a lot of you guys are tired of me talking. But um, one thing I do want to say is the the youth chair for girls, Sister Kiran just recently joined us as the youth chair for girls, but she's not here tonight. She couldn't make it tonight uh, due to a prior commitment, but inshallah, you'll get to meet her soon, inshallah. Ta'ala. And she'll also have, uh, she's also looking for other younger uh, youth girls, you know, preferably in high school uh, or freshman college uh, to help her with, um, you know, having more events for females, for youth, you know, specifically for youth, uh, you know, in our masjid, right? Because a lot of times we are catering towards the youth, the boys but we don't get to equally cater to the girls, right? And we want to make that equal and we want to have that for them as well, inshallah ta'ala. So hopefully we'll get to meet her soon. And if you guys or if any parents here are interested uh, to uh, present this to their children, inshallah, they can help out, help us out and help Kiran, Sister Kiran out, inshallah, uh, at the masjid uh, alongside Brother Hamad, which is who is next, inshallah. Assalamu uh, Can everyone hear me? Yes. Yes, we can hear you. Yes, we hear you. All right. Sorry, there's something usually wrong with my Zoom, but uh, alhamdulillah, I'm the the youth chair for the boys or the young men. Uh, alhamdulillah, I was a young man before uh, in this community, so you've been around here for 15, 16 years. Alhamdulillah. So uh, very excited about this opportunity. Um, I, I definitely grew up in this area, so I know a lot of a lot of the the boys and the youth in the area. So. Uh, definitely looking forward to putting on good programs for the youth, inshallah, um, and, you know, bring the youth back to the masjid. Brother Zabi, are you there? I'm not sure Brother Zabi is here. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Alhamdulillah. I'm uh, really uh, shukur <laughs> that uh, the EC decided to do this. So I think it's a good start. I think we have a good, uh, seem to be, uh, we are moving in the right right direction. Uh, physically, we have a multi hall, we have a cemetery, it's very busy. And uh, above that, I'm really happy and Alhamdulillah, uh, the volunteers, center volunteerism in a cemetery and uh, the barbecue participation is make my heart uh, happier. And uh, yes, yeah, so hopefully, when we have the COVID-19 behind our back, or at least we are under control, then it's nice to go back. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to, to, to work with the new, I welcome the new members, new executive committees uh, members, but uh, none, uh, but the Parvez and, and others, that this is the, I think I have the feeling that hopefully our job is to plan. Without planning, we have a plan for failure. So this is a part of the plan. So I think uh, at the end of the day, we plan our best and we rely on Allah Ta'ala to, to assist us. And that's our motto, inshallah Ta'ala. Jazakallah khayyam for, uh, for the president and the team to make this happen, inshallah. Thank you so much. Uh, just for, uh, um, Brother Azebi leads the uh, uh, clinic. We have our ECIC uh, clinic on Saturdays. Because of COVID, we had to shut it down. But Alhamdulillah, this clinic serves everybody uh, in uh, 
in Georgia, meaning anybody uh, who does not have an insurance uh, can come to the clinic and take its services. Muslim, non-Muslim, anybody's welcome, alhamdulillah. So it's a, a community service, literally a community service, irrespective of um, you know which religion they belong to, alhamdulillah. Moving on, a quick run through on the cemetery updates. Brother Hamad, would you mind uh, going ahead and talking on the slide? Make it quick, inshallah. Brother Hamad. All right. Uh, Amir, do you want to just take it up quick? I, I don't hear Hamad. I think he has difficulty with this. Um... Okay, sorry. There we go. Uh, oh, I wasn't no. able to unmute myself. Okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, just a quick update on the cemetery. Um, unfortunately, you know, we've had quite a bit of burials in 2020. Um, you know, a lot of that, unfortunately, was due to COVID-19. Uh, we did have volunteers from, you know, different massages in the area. So ECIC, uh, Al Hidayah, Al Furqan, um, and, you know, the different masjids in the area. Um, you know, come together and kind of lead on that Janaza committee. Um, and so due to the pandemic, we've had to kind of uh, shift in terms of the procedures and limiting the number of people. So uh, if anyone has been to a Janaza, you know, we only allow a specific number of people there um, just due to the social distancing guidelines. Uh, we made an investment in 2020 to allow for uh, the cemetery to have a, a hydraulic casket lowering system. So instead of having someone uh, or two people go into the grave to grab the box uh, or the body, we have that lowering system. So it makes things a lot easier. Uh, we needed, uh, we, we invested in a tractor as well to assist in digging the graves um, just due to the sheer number of the, of the graves that were needed and construction of a new fence uh, was also done in 2020. Um, very recently, I wanna say less than a month ago, there were there was a fire at the cemetery, unfortunately, um, and about 50 graves were impacted by this fire. Uh, so we did have to raise some money in order to, um, you know, clean up the graves that were affected. Um, that cleanup inc included um, removing the top material from, from the graves and the wooden frames uh, from them and, um, and replacing them. So, you know, we needed some new materials uh, Humla, we had a lot of uh, volunteers come um, and, you know, help us with this effort. It took a lot of manpower. Uh, we had one cleanup last week or um, the week before, and then we had one today as well. And Humla, about 70% of the, of the work is done. So we're going to have one last one next week, next Saturday, inshallah. So we definitely need volunteers to come. If anyone is interested, you can definitely contact myself or... Uh, Brother Amir, um, these are just some pictures of the turnout that we had. Uh, Humla, we, um, there, there were a good number of people. Everyone was wearing masks and uh, the weather was very nice. So uh, it, was, it was a good community involvement from not only our masjid, but Al Hidayah, Al Furqan, and all the surrounding masjids as well for you know, everyone to come together and uh, take care of a place that we're all going to be in one day. Zakallah khair, thank you so much. Moving on. Since Amir Bhai is our chair for the multipurpose hall, um, I would have Amir Bhai speak on this uh, slide, inshallah. Amir Bhai, please go ahead. Jazakallah khair. Um, so alhamdulillah, the biggest um, good news is we have now the official permission from Cobb County to occupy the building. So alhamdulillah, we have the certificate of occupancy. That's the term they use. Um, the permission we have from Cobb County now after going through a lot of inspections uh, is is um, to allow almost a um, thousand people, 900 something people are officially allowed in there. It's a state of the art building with many um, requirements that we had to fulfill with respect to safety uh, for accommodating thousand people in case of a fire emergency and things like that, sprinkler system, a fire alarm system. Uh, monitoring, you name it, is, is very detailed. And, and um, so far we have spent 
the total project cost, I should say, is a little over $1.5 million. We still haven't done the math as the bills keep coming, um, but I would say it's just slightly over $1.5 million total cost. A few bills um, still to be paid. So we're trying to catch up and finish off paying the last few bills. Um, today, we had a cleaning crew cleaning up the building, the dust and everything else. It'll probably take one more round of cleaning to get to a position where we can occupy and, and most of will make the decision and announce. Uh, we do have about $300,000 in loans that we have to repay from some very generous brothers in our community and, and, and from outside the community who helped us. So we didn't have to stall. We could get this building done before Ramadan. So Alhamdulillah, we're grateful to Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala first and to all the brothers who uh, helped us, donated us, loaned us, made dua and, and just um, gave us support. Um, so what's left to do, there are a few still things that we weren't able to complete so far. Audio visual system um, is still to be installed, the security system, although we have cameras installed, but access control and things like that, we have pre-wiring done, we don't, don't have a system installed yet. We do not have appliances in the kitchen yet, like cooktop, fridge, or dishwasher. We have accommodation and places for them, but we have not purchased that primarily because of uh, funds. We wanted to do the important thing so we can open up the hall before Ramadan. So that's kind of where we are at. Um, and inshallah, Muslim will talk a little bit more about opening of it. There, is that it, Muslim? Right? Okay, yeah. and here, here are some pictures yeah. um, from so today. Um, so the flooring was done recently, as you can see. Um, it's a pretty expensive flooring uh, that really can be suitable for basketball, volleyball, uh, bat, uh, badminton. Uh, we have all the three courts painted over there in different colors and uh, it can be used for any events. Um, so it's a multi-purpose flooring, uh, very expensive flooring, but um, we made the decision to go ahead and make the right investments one time. So we get it right. So Alhamdulillah, it's looking really nice. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much. Um, let's moving on to the next one. Next slide is a quick um, update on the on the financials. Uh, this is our profit and loss sheet as of this twenty. Um, I'm not going to go through each and every line item because it's going to take a lot of time. It's just a rough overview for everybody to see what it contains. To make it easy, inshallah, I'm going to email this uh, PDF to you so that you guys can at your leisure, sit down, go through it and understand what it takes uh, to run the masjid. You know, what are we, what else are, uh, you know, um, expenses that we had. Um, Alhamdulillah, I mean, overall, uh, you know, we do collect zakat, we do collect uh, sadaqa, we distribute all funds this year, uh, Alhamdulillah, as, uh, uh, Ahmed Wayne was talking about, we helped a lot of people, you know, um, in helping pay their rents, uh, stopping their evictions. Um, we made many people uh, self-sustainable. We got them, uh, uh, purchased cars for them so that they can be mobile, they can go to the work, uh, they can get a job. So Alhamdulillah, um, uh, we were able to help the needy in and around us, right? So um, one of the key aspects of Zakat is to help the local community single dollar went for the local people to help out. So Alhamdulillah, uh, we are happy that we were able to do that. Uh, and again, generous donations from our uh, community members, we were able to pull it along. Uh, otherwise it is really not, um, without the, our community, uh, community's help, it's really not possible. So Jazakallah khair for each and every one of you who contributed, who helped to make it happen. So I'm going to move over quickly because I'm going to send this, um, um, this expense report, um, profit and loss report to um, all our members of our community so that they can, you know, read at it, look at it again, inshallah. So moving on, uh, this is the one that I know many of us have logged in, right, to hear about what are our Ramadan plans? What do we plan to do? Like I got a call from uh, uh, somebody yesterday, this morning, I guess, like um, I'm, I'm ready to come for Ramadan Tarawi. What do I need to do? I was like, Alhamdulillah, you're welcome to join our uh, session tonight and hear more about it. So what are our plans? What, what we expect? We expect 
um, uh, we ex we do not we are not planning to have any iftars uh, in the open or in the inside the masjid. Very simple reason is when you do iftar, you got to take your masks out, and then you're exposing each other when you're talking, when you're eating. So we do not want to encourage that. So we actually are asking not to bring food to your houses or from your homes and try to eat here. Rather, drive in to the masjid. At the time of uh, the opening of the fast, open the open your fast with dates and water in your car. If you have not if you have not brought the dates, inshallah, we will supply them to you. Just honk us or wave us from your car, and we'll come to your car and supply the date and water. Bring, um, but please open it in your in your car. Stay inside your car. Open your fast. Once you're done opening your fast and making the dua, head towards our new building. Inshallah, our new building is going to be set up. for fajr maghrib isha and tarawih so we are going to have three three salahs there the fard salahs fajr maghrib and isha inside the big hall uh, so we'll have head, head towards there you will be as everybody is going to be assigned a spot um the procedures we are going to discuss how we will get there uh, but this is where we going to do our salahs fajr maghrib isha and tarawih will be inside the new building Zohar and Asar will be at the older building because we don't expect a lot of crowd to come for Zohar and Asar, so we think we can handle it at the older building. So the next big question: Who can attend? Right? That's always another question that we always had. You know, um, youngsters want to attend. They have been away from the masjid for the whole year. They have been missing. Some of them have forgotten about the masjid, probably. Right? So, given that we all are vaccinated. and alhamdulillah most of us are either 80% meaning they got the first shot or they are going to get the second shot uh, we say, we decided that everyone is welcome to attend everyone is welcome to attend but restrictions about how we how we handle ourselves in the in the in the new building we are requiring masks at all times irrespective of you are fully vaccinated you are half vaccinated it does not you have to have masks all the time inside the building outside the building walking from your car all the way to the building whatever it is you have to be wearing a mask you bring your own prayer rug and you bring your own bottle that's why i said b i o r bring your own rug and b i o b is bring your own bottle if you need water you can you know um, we we have fountain and we have water supply there but it's better to bring your own bottle that way we do not provide those plastic bottles that we used to provide because that is not good for the environment so we would we would like to be a green masjid inshallah uh, while you're inside the building we'll maintain the social distancing we will have markers where are your spots where do you get to pray the 6 feet social distancing between each of you uh, and um, at all times right so maintain no uh, no huddling around i know we haven't seen each other for a long time yes but still maintain the distance inshallah and then uh, parents who want to bring the children younger ones you remember they typically run around parking lot playing around you know goofing around having fun uh, what we are recommending is saying that um, you bring your children you keep them with you all the time from start to the finish nobody we should not find any kid running around in the parking lot or you know you know hanging out with other children playing at the playing we are not ready for that yet ready for uh, games or you know uh, a fun time in the parking lot or inside the building yet when we are ready we we'll let you know but for now we expect every parent to keep the children with them all the time and if we find that your children are running around and you know um having a, giving us a difficult time we will we will have to ask you to leave this the reason for that is we want to respect others who are having the children with them you know they're keeping the children with them and inshallah we're trying to avoid spreading of if at all there some some child has a covid we're trying to avoid spreading of the covid to other people right so inshallah that's the only reason we there's no other reason i mean the reason is pandemic we are still in the midst of a pandemic it's not over yet hence these measures i hope you all understand that and i hope you all will cooperate on that i know we used to play in the ba uh, basketball at the back uh, backyard in the in the masjid uh, 
at this point we would not let anybody play basketball either uh, or hang out in the in the parking lot and the main thing bathrooms are available uh, it is used at your own risk uh, if it's for emergency go ahead and use them but remember uh, you're taking a risk because when you're done with the bathroom you have to do wadu and while you're, while you're doing wadu you will be taking your mask off right so using the bathroom at your own risk but it will be available because you're going to be there for taravi the taravi is going to last for an hour and in that not tell anybody how hey, you can use the bathroom so we will let you use the bathroom but at your own risk and the final the most important one is before you enter the new building you will have to scan a qr code so that we who is in the building uh, for uh, for contact tracing if something happens tomorrow and we need to let everybody know who was inside the building that you know uh, there was a incident we'll have to let everybody know and we'll have to let cdc know about it hence we have made it mandatory that um, you will have to register online or register using an app so we have a app called ecic we have just launched an app by the way that's actually a good news we have launched an ecic app alhamdulillah this app is going to remind you about salah times it's going it can uh, all the events you can see in the same app uh, you can you know actually join the meetings through the app directly you can click on the link and it will take you to the uh, a zoom call um, uh, or the live call um, it has a quran in it it has duas and it has something or less uh, registration so you will have to go register yourself um uh, provide your name address age um all the details just one time and this is not like the juma that we used to have where you have to go back and register every friday i know it was cumbersome so we got rid of that going forward we'll only have this app you register once and when you are ready to enter all you do is click on the app it will show you the qr code scan your code and you enter that's it alhamdulillah no more hassles no more you know it's first come first serve as soon as the capacity is full we'll stop everybody from entering and this app will let me know that this app is is going to let me know that we are going to reach capacity or have reached capacity as soon as we reach capacity the app is going to let me know that we cannot have any more people at the building so we will have to stop um, uh, entry so it's going to be first come first serve inshallah uh and we will going to follow the same system for juma as well uh, you um scan and you get in there's no more uh, registration for juma like we had before i'm so sorry to put you through that it was cumbersome but it took time for us to develop this whole system so jazakallah for cooperating and being patient with us thank you so much moving on uh, of course to do all this work we need a lot of help so i'm requesting our youngsters or youth uh, especially the ones who are vaccinated even 50% vaccinated right even one shot if you have got um please register for volunteering during ramadan there's a lot of work even for example for this new pre build uh, building to set up i need help like we need to set up the building uh with um, you know the mats we need to put the lines in for everybody to come we need to organize a uh, i still have to figure out you know we need to get the um um uh, stand for the shoes uh, i have to figure out where do i get that from or you know we have to see how it fits in so there's a lot of work pending it's not like we are we are ready but we still have to uh, get prepared for everybody to come right so inshallah we have to do that there's some work remaining for that and i need we need help the whole executive committee the operations team everybody needs help so please register in the link below ecic.org uh, if you go to the announcement section you will find a link after this uh, program ends we will put the link there just click on the link and register yourself if you want to volunteer that way we can reach out to you and figure out how how best you can help us and uh, we just listed out some of the activities that we could do during ramadan we need to monitor the cameras for security we need to make sure everybody is masking correctly social distancing and distributing with dates and water so some of the activities during ramadan we need help with but overall we need volunteers to help us uh, make this a, a successful ramadan inshallah and also very important point i want to make all of these plans are fluid what do i mean by that is if tomorrow cdc says uh, uh, we can do 
a gathering of 300 people. We cannot, we cannot have more than 50 people. We will work with that. We will work according to CDC guidelines. Things will change. I've heard about variants uh, um, in the horizon. If variants become, I'm talking about the COVID-19 variants. If they become a problem, uh, they become a problem, then we'll have to work uh, with you and figure out, um, you know, what would be the next best step, right? So this, this is the plan as of now, inshallah, uh, we hope to continue with these plans. And if anything changes, we'll inform the community and, I, uh, and please help cooperate with us just like you did in 2020. Uh, let's write this um, pandemic and then inshallah together. Okay, and I'll hand over to our Imam. Okay. So I go. So I go like Okay, inshallah. So uh, let's. I guess we could talk more about the programs for before Ramadan, pre-Ramadan programs, as well as programs you want to uh, inshallah have within Ramadan. So for the pre-Ramadan programs, I know, as we all know that uh, we're roughly a week away from Ramadan starting inshallah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us all reach Ramadan. Allahumma balighna Ramadan. I mean, um, but before that inshallah, so we see on uh, on April 10th and 11th, we'll have two programs. And this for Ramadan preparation inshallah ta'ala. So on April 10th at 2.30, meaning after Zuhr, 2.30 p.m. inshallah ta'ala, we'll have a Ramadan uh, program, virtual Ramadan program for uh, adults uh, like we had similar similar to what we had last year when I when I first joined we had like a pre-Ramadan program talking about just uh, some rules and how we can prepare ourselves inshallah to uh, fully benefit from Ramadan inshallah and uh, on, the, on the following day on April 11th uh, I, I, I kept it for um, 3 p.m. for the youth. We want to just keep them separate inshallah so they can have more um, if they have any questions they, they want to ask uh, they'll they'll feel, they'll have they'll be more comfortable to ask those questions inshallah uh, without the adults being there and um, maybe it'll be a more of a relaxed session for them inshallah as well for them to how how they can also benefit from Ramadan because adults and youth is gonna be different adults are working uh, people throughout the day taking care of the family and the youth are going to be mostly at home or you know uh, joining joining their classes high school college etc so inshallah they can also benefit from Ramadan and also um, help us volunteer at the masjid as well. So those are this upcoming weekend, right? April uh, 10th and April 11th, inshallah. April 10th at 2.30 p.m. for the adults. And we'll send those flyers out, inshallah, as well. And April 11th for 3 p.m. Uh, for the youth, inshallah, too, as well. So uh, some of the youth that are on here on this call tonight, uh, keep that in mind. And we're also going to share that with you guys, inshallah, in the youth group. Um, we also have um, ECIC Sunday School Ramadan uh, Food Box Drive. Uh, something that we've been talking about in the in the last few weeks in our Monday and Friday night sessions that the Sunday school program uh, Sunday school students have a project they've been working on to you know hopefully collect funds and we did alhamdulillah we collect a lot of funds from you all jazakallah khairan for that um, to put together boxes uh, uh, for people that will need to you know fast in Ramadan for them to eat suhoor and break their fast have iftar in the month of Ramadan inshallah so that's going to be a very you know whoever contributed whoever is you know, willing to contribute more inshallah and also to physically contribute meaning help us inshallah pack the boxes uh that will be between um uh the 8th and 10th will will we'll start inshallah we'll start uh, just preparing boxes etc and on the 11th uh is when the Sunday school students will come and they'll help us as well so if you want to help, inshallah, just reach out to me or uh, um, uh, or any 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 one of us, inshallah, ta'ala, Hamad or Brother Muslim, and we can uh, help help you with that, inshallah, ta'ala. And this is going to be a, a very beautiful thing, actually. So if you contribute towards this, you're actually contributing towards someone's, you know, iftar in Ramadan. So that's you know, there's no that, that that's pretty high in reward up there, right? Providing you know, even water or even a date for Ramadan. But if we're going to provide a whole food box, inshallah, will they have you know, flour, oil, beans, and etc. Inshallah. That's a lot of reward for each and every one of us, inshallah. So try to participate and contribute in any way, whether it's financial, whether it's physical, inshallah, because we need to get that done, inshallah, before Ramadan starts. And people have these food boxes at home and they can prepare and plan their suhoor and iftar, inshallah. Imam Akib, zakat is eligible for this one, right? Yes, zakat is also eligible for that, inshallah, as well, because it's going towards uh, the less fortunate in our community and, um, inshallah, whoever else needs it uh, in the broader community, inshallah, as well. So that's for the pre-Ramadan programs. And in Ramadan programs, um, 
they're all going to be virtual except for uh, Tarawi. Everything else, uh, educational wise or spiritual wise, inshallah, will be virtual. Uh, and you know, we're going to be praying, inshallah, as you know, Brother Moses mentioned in the previous slides that five times salahs, Fajr and Maghrib, Isha and Tarawi is going to be in the you know the the new facility, and Zohar and Asr is going to be in the old old in, in the masjid in the old facility, inshallah. Ta and we will be having a uh, shortened Tarawi this year. It rakat tarawi, inshallah, because we just want to wrap everything up in you know in an hour or so with uh, with isha and um, tarawi and maybe a brief a summary of what we're going to cover that day in tarawi as well. So we'll have eight rakat tarawi, inshallah, um, and then that will be followed by a virtual Quran recitation, inshallah, ta'ala, just so we can complete a khatam in, the, in Ramadan, inshallah, right? So I mean, the main thing of our Ramadan is you know the main thing that's highlighted in Ramadan is the Quran. So we can make individual khatams, we can do it, inshallah, as a community, you know, a, a, a communal khatam, and um, also engage in the night prayers, whether it's tarawih, whether it's more prayers during the night, qiyamul layl, tahajjud at home, inshallah, ta'ala. Those, those are the main uh, key priorities for us in Ramadan to excel in, inshallah, ta'ala. So we'll, we'll be trying to cover all those, you know, trying to pray tarawih as well. It's not going to be a full 20 rakat like we usually do, but we'll still try to get the reward from that, as well as we can uh, continue our salawat, inshallah, at home. And, uh, and followed by a Quran khatam as well. And, you know, I, I know it's going to be kind of late some of the nights uh, because, you know, by the time we're done praying Isha and eight rakat tarawih and going home. Uh, so uh, we're going to have a brief uh, um, synopsis or summary of what we cover in tarawih that night between Isha and tarawih. So after Isha, after we pray a sunnah, we'll have like a, you know, five to seven minute brief summary of what we're going to cover inshallah so that we we are just uh, just know what we're going to be reading and we'll, what we'll, we'll, what we'll uh, hear during that night and then when we go home we can join in on the virtual session just relax maybe have some tea etc and just listen to the quran and then we can all have a, you know a good night inshallah after that and prepare for the next uh, day inshallah so that's uh that's for tarawi that's going to be you know is going to be in the masjid and the rest of the programs will be virtual inshallah so um, number three on the list is Tarawi also will be broadcasted live. Inshallah, yeah. So yeah, that'll also be broadcasted live. Inshallah. I mean, just to, just for people to hear, not for, not for people to follow. Inshallah, right? Um, so so Imam, salam alaikum. Uh, will the women be allowed for Tarawi or only men? Yes, I, I think Brother Muslim mentioned that. I mentioned uh, everybody. Uh, please hold your questions toward the end, but the answer to that right now is yes. All everybody is allowed to attend. Inshallah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To attend as long as you're following the rules, right? Inshallah. So as long as you're following the rules, you'll be uh, you'll be allowed to attend. Inshallah. So that counts for me too. If I break the rules, then I can't come, right? <laughs> so you know, everyone has to be everyone has to be careful. Inshallah. Okay. And then the next program, as uh, some of you guys know, or I think a lot of you guys that joined last year, we had a um, a brief tafsir every day of like one or two verses of Surah Rahman, and that was just trying to memorize Surah Rahman. And a lot of you, Mashallah, did because a lot of you did actually after Ramadan reach out to me and actually read the read the Surah Rahman on the phone because we were still, uh, you know, at home at that time. We weren't at the masjid, and a lot of you did memorize Surah Rahman, Mashallah. You know, I applauded all of you for doing that. So this this year will be a little bit easier. Surah Rahman was a little bit longer, uh, uh, um, more verses, more shorter verses. Uh, and this year, inshallah, we'll try to cover Surah Sajda. So it says here, become a hafid of Surah Sajda. So you know, if you do one verse a day, Surah Sajda has 30 verses. So one verse a day in Ramadan, inshallah, if you memorize it a day, and then you, we'll, we'll try to go over you know, the, the recitation, the tajweed over it, and also like a brief uh, tafsir of the ayah as well. So by the end of Ramadan, we can all become a hafid of Surah Sajda. And then the days I'm not there, someone can lead, inshallah, from me, inshallah, right? So that's the main objective here, inshallah, right? I mean, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. But inshallah, we can all, you know, learn uh, and memorize a surah, you know, this, this, this beautiful surah uh, um, at, by the end of Ramadan. So that will be a, another major accomplishment on our behalf, inshallah. So, so please participate on that, uh, uh, participate in that uh, every, every day in Ramadan at 6 p.m. Inshallah, that's also going to be virtual. And I'm also going to send out a flyer and link for all that as well, inshallah. And that will also be on the website. Um, next is for the kids, for the kids and the youth, inshallah. So that was for the adults and, you know, for families that can join in for Surah Sajda, uh, memorization and learning it. And then the next program is going to be an interactive virtual session uh, about virtues, of bless uh, virtues and the blessings of Ramadan. Because even the kids, they have to, you know, we're, we're going to have pre-Ramadan, uh, you know, crash course or pre-Ramadan seminar. But all, the, all the kids also need to learn about what, you know, what Ramadan is, where does it come from, what's the value, what's the virtue behind it. So inshallah, we're going to have that for kids every Saturday at 2 p.m. virtual. 
ages 6 through 11. And we actually um, are going to, inshallah, um, we're working with a sister who's known as the Young Muslim Mentor. She's on Instagram and, and mashallah, she has her own classes. She's, she's been uh, tutoring and mentoring a lot of young Muslims. And, you know, they, they love her class. They, I, I saw and I witnessed a lot of good feedback that she received from her own students. So she's, she, she's excited to join us, inshallah, this Ramadan and take care of that for us, inshallah, and help us, help our community, help our kids and her own kids as well. They'll be joining in uh, for this beautiful session because she's very interactive. She'll have slides, she'll have, different cards and you know coloring and drawing etc for the kids so ages 6 through 11 every saturday at 2 p.m and on the at the same time inshallah i also want to have a youth halaqa for you know boys and girls on saturday so that that'll be ages 12 and above right so 12 and above inshallah can join that one at the same time at 2 p.m on saturdays and that'll be inshallah virtual as well and maybe i'll have or we'll have inshallah some you know guest youth uh you know youth figures throughout atlanta to come join us and enlighten our youth inshallah throughout our Ramadan because I know they're going to be busy with school still and inshallah hopefully they you know they're, they're coming to the masjid as well for Tarabi. so but this once a week inshallah they'll actually have a little boost and you know look forward to the you know upcoming uh, days in Ramadan inshallah as well so that's what we have for the adults for the families for the youth inshallah and um, inshallah I'm, I'm looking forward to it, inshallah I hope everyone is ready to do that with us inshallah and to join us and hopefully we have a, a way better Ramadan that we did than we did last year inshallah Jazakallah we hope for the best Ramadan we ever had, inshallah. So moving on, the final slide. Anybody have any questions? We can try, try and help and answer. Um, we, of course, need your feedback and participation. Uh, only one question per person until everyone has a chance, right, inshallah. So let's, uh, let's see if anybody has any questions. Yeah, I see some hands. Yeah. Uh, Brother, Brother Zafar? Uh, Zafar Angul? Assalamu alaikum, Mohsen bhai. No. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Mohsen bhai, my question was that you said that the six fist distance will be So if a family comes, like a house, 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 Yes, that's a possibility. If, if it's a family, they're coming together, yes. For, for everybody's good. benefit, please ask questions in English. Oh, sh sure, sure. Okay. Uh, also, uh, uh, I'm really uh, happy to see the app. It's super nice. I'm really congratulations all the people and thank you for your uh, time and effort. It's awesome application. You I mean app? We have it. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much. Jazakallah khair. Assalamualaikum. Uh, Assalamualaikum. Uh, my question was regarding the QR code. Is one required for family of each individual member of the family needs a QR code? Each in individual member of the family requires a QR code. Um, who, if they have a phone with them, if they're uh, so, uh, if a spouse, husband, and wife, each of them needs to have their own QR code. Um, if the kids have mobile phone who are older than 15 years old. Uh, they can have a QR code, but if the kids do not have a phone, uh, then you can actually in the app, there's an ability to add a family member in it. So it should give you one, inshallah. Uh, brother Mohsin, salam alaikum, sadiq yes. I, I have a question. So, so far we allow only Fard namaz in the masjid uh, facility. So uh, in a Ramzan, uh, are we going to allow along with the first Sunnah and all, of, all those other namaz? So currently we allow only come in, do first, go out, right? So uh, take example, Ma Maghrib yeah. Salah. No, I understand really? that. Yeah. Uh, um, yes. So we do allow your Fard and Sunnah, but that does not mean we are, unlike in the past where we used to, you know, stay in the masjid for long, I think that's not encouraged. So maximum we're trying to say is uh, between Tarabi and uh, Isha and Tarabi, we're going to have uh, uh, one hour max limit that we can have anybody inside the inside the masjid. So yes, we are we are going to allow uh, further than Sunnah with social distancing uh, uh, inside the masjid. But um, yes, we will. Okay. But not yeah, for long. Not like the past. The past is still past. Remember that. 
it's not over yet that's the whole idea right i still recommend go home and do your sunna it's a sunna to go home and do your sunna right so let bring that sunna to life okay thank you ramasin uh, i believe like the point is like try to minimize the stay in the yeah. like close area okay that's yeah that's the yeah. common okay. sense approach that we would like to apply but inshallah okay. okay inshallah we'll not force people not to do sunna etc like that but yeah. we will as as a common sense we'll try to just minimize uh, like number of uh, minute or hour stay in the in a close area yeah that's okay right. thank you i think anybody else have any other questions you can open your mic and ask your question two participants have raised their hand i don't know which ones um assalamu alaikum um brother mohsin this is sadika i have a question i downloaded the app but i could not find the registration page um that you referred to in your yeah uh earlier. so the um i would i would request you to um so the registration page on the right hand side corner it's a it's a human icon uh on top uh, the only thing is don't register yet uh, maybe we will send an email to the whole community to register because there are a few fields that we are also adding right now so if you give us a couple of days we will add them and then you can register inshallah but it's on the right hand side corner there's a, uh, there's a um, there's a person icon Yep, on, did that. I see that. Register yet? They have only. They have, we have only uh, added like five attributes there, or the five uh, values, um, but we are going to add a few more so that uh, we can give enough information to CDC if they need it, and for our demographics as well, inshallah. Jazakallah. I hope you like the app. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Congratulations to the team. Jazakallah. <laughs> I have a question about your Sunday school. Can a child enroll anytime during their year or is there a particular time to enroll Sunday school? So Sunday school typically um, is a semester basis. Um, so the semester now apparently ends, Imam Akhi, when does it end? It ends this Ram before Ramadan, right? Yeah, we actually had our last uh, class today. And next Sunday we're gonna help, uh, the, the, the kids are gonna come help pack the food boxes inshallah so i mean inshallah after ramadan look forward uh, to our summer school program that we're going to have and then after summer school we're going to have sunday school again uh, the new semester for 2021 uh assalamu alaikum mohsin sadiq again yeah sorry asking so many questions <laughs> uh one more question So, uh, Zohar and Asr. Uh, uh, so we decided to do a, maz a namaz uh, in an old building, right? Old facility. Um, so, um, so is it like women's uh, is going to be downstairs and men's going to be upstairs? Like, um, like yeah, the building. Okay. Yeah, inshallah. Yeah, because we don't expect a lot of crowd for Zohar and Asr. Okay. All right. Yeah, thank you. Brother Mohsin, is the app called ECIC or something yes. else? It's called ECIC. Thank you. So there's a question: Will Sunday school be online until further notice? Yes, at this point, Sunday school will be online until further notice. Will clinic administer the COVID vaccine? Um, so they are. Um, I let Brother Zabi answer that question. Brother Zabi, uh, if you could answer that question, there's a question on chat. that says will the clinic administer the covid vaccine no no we don't we, we don't we don't we don't have uh, the capacity to we, number one we have an open it physically and number two the logistic to do that is uh, i know i don't know any pre clinic has that capacity from georgia uh, so if 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 we can so i'll inquire the georgia our our, our parent our parent organization part of a public Georgia public house. If they allow us, then we, 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 we tell the community. But I, I doubt it. Uh, we'll let you know. We try to, by the way, uh, Brother Ahmad and I, hopefully we're going to uh, start opening the clinic telemedicine by, by next week, inshallah, if depending on the physician 
و بولد ريفيزيشن اوف ابيليتي ان شاء الله جزاك الله خير ثانك يو سو ماتش ذا وود بي جريت ان شاء الله اف وي كود اكوير سم فاكسينز اند وي كود ادمينستر تو اور كوميونيتي ذات وود بي بيرفكت ان شاء الله the issue with that is the liability <laughs> right okay so then my request to the community is do not wait for brother azib to give you a shot <laughs> please go out and get your shots uh, that's my humble request um, that that would be the best option yeah, inshallah so there is a question from 678 978 4134 Can you unmute yourself and answer a question? Okay. Anybody else have any other questions? Please feel free to um email me, text me, um or call me inshallah. Um You can Where is your new building by the way? The new building is right adjacent to the old building. Okay. So the if you if you come in through the entrance you will find uh, it be building number 200 200 right? Yeah. Building number 200 and the old building is numbered as 100. So if the 200 building is a new building um which will open up for fajr maghrib and isha. inshallah most most um one thought um about the summary of the tarawih between isha and the tarawih since our goal is to keep the people there for a short period of time uh, we know people will pray sunnah right after isha usually that's that will happen and then um uh, unless we're keeping that summary very very short um i think um we should think about maybe moving that to after the tarawi uh, i don't know just a thought in case if somebody wants to leave they can leave after tarawi and um i don't know i think that we need to kind of be conscious about not making it a long drawn out process where people are forced to listen to it and they why stay in the masjid for a longer period of time just something to be cognizant about Yes inshallah no our focus is to wrap everything in an hour so say by by having a brief very very brief to the point of see is extending it beyond 1 hour we will make adjustments inshallah yeah tafsir is a very detailed thing the word tafsir itself point, yeah. it better be a summary the very summary brief, of the issues the summary of what's the, what's in the surah is, in my opinion it is it's better to understand and at least know that what we are going to read about that gives a a a, a different no question of course yeah of course so we'll figure out we'll figure out inshallah but good feedback uh, imam akib and i will work on it inshallah we are past okay so we are past almost um 10 minutes uh, past our time so i think um If you have questions, please feel free to email us. Um, um, just a simple uh, uh, info at ec-ic.org, and you can just email us on that, and we'll still receive the emails. Uh, I n f o info at ec-ic.org, and we are also working on creating new emails uh, for executive committee as well. So executive committee email is going to be ec at the rate ec-ic.org. executive committee ec at ec hyphen i said uh, ic.org um so you can write, write to info or ec doesn't matter uh, but feel free post your questions any doubt any concerns anything that you would like to share uh, uh, i'm more than happy to work with you on that inshallah jazakallah khair for uh, attending thank you so much uh, may allah accept our uh, effort and may allah give us ramadan Uh, and may allah uh, accept our effort during ramadan as well inshallah amen amen jazakallah khair thank you so much amen jazakallah khair allah hafiz allah hafiz